Hi guys, this is Elizabeth from A Breath of Bunch Air, and today I'm going to cut my pumpkin lavender soap. I made it yesterday, and I um, oven processed it, so it should be ready to go. Um, my last batch was, and I don't know why I did this, was only an eight bar batch, and um, I have one bar left, and I have people asking for it. So. Um, I decided to use my um, my long mold so I could make more of it. So I'm going to cut that today. Let's see. Let's see that. And the noise in the background is my dishwasher. It's going. And I added a little bit of um, orange to the pumpkin because I saw that Kim did that. I thought, well, that's kind of nice. Um, my pumpkin bars don't get too brown, um, so the orange should stay. At least the pumpkin I, I have now has a lot of um, vanilla in it, but it, it didn't get really, really dark. So I think the orange is going to work. And then I just slept in the... A, um, a swirl and then um, pipe some frosting on the top so that is my pumpkin lavender the soaps I've been doing have just been race docks um, but I like to um, make them a little bit different just to change things up. I'm going to have to take you pictures because the other ones were made in a wider mold and were thinner bars. But um, I like the orange and the purple together and they do smell good. You can really smell the pumpkin. Um, it's been a really popular scent for um, soaps and for body butters. I haven't made any in my in the body wash. Maybe I should. But um, I've been doing this combination for I think this is my third year, and um, it sells all year round. People just really love it. So. Today is Wednesday. It's the first day of the World Series. And um, St. Louis Cardinals, I live in St. Louis, the St. Louis Cardinals are in the World Series. I'm a little bummed because I am part of a garden club here in my area. And it's my time to host. So I have 20 something women coming over. We're doing a seed exchange, which will be fun, but I, I want to watch the game. So I'm hoping that they'll, I can just have it on in the background, you know, not have the noise on, but they can at least watch the score. It goes until about nine o'clock from seven to nine. So most of the game, I won't be able to listen to. But I think there's seven games in the World Series. So I'm not my, I mean I am a baseball fan, but um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I didn't even know who they were playing in the World Series until yesterday. <laughs> so I guess you I guess you can't call me a really good fan, but I am cheering for the Cardinals. So, I like the purple and orange together. It's a nice fall scent. 
Okay, a little bit. Um, you know, I do carry it all year round. Usually I hot process it, but, um, you know, in the crock pot. But it doesn't turn out as pretty. People don't seem to mind, though. I mean, I always sold out of it, but... Um, and I do like crock pot soaps, but, um, I don't know, lately I've been wanting to make prettier soaps. So, not as rustic. So, I have this, and then another video, I'll cut my lemongrass, I only have one bar of that left. And for some reason, I made lavender soap, and for some reason, it's just not, people aren't buying it. Usually, lavender is a big one. Maybe in the holidays, it'll, it'll sell. So, there you go. There's my um, pumpkin lavender soap. I like the added, added orange to it. It will darken, um, but I've used this fragrance oil for a while a few times and it didn't really get that dark so I don't think it'll get that dark. Um, the purple is lavender and the um, orange is pumpkin so the purple will stay purple it won't darken or anything it'll stay just like that so I am going to clean up all this glitter 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 um, and put it in my handy dandy shoe boxes and bring it downstairs to cure. And um, after I clean up, I'll do the next video. See you in a bit. Bye.